Today we're going to learn about ray collision node. It's an expresso node that sends a ray between two objects and whenever, third, whenever there's a third object that intersects that ray, it records the position of that intersection, which is called the hit position. Let's see how it works. First, let's create a null and give it uh, a um, shape. Let's let it be a cube. Create another null. Uh, make it a second cube, lower the second null, raise the first null. And uh, let's change their uh, hierarchy, hierarchy in the object manager. Let's create a third object, which, which would be the collision object. Let's create a landscape and make it very, uh, make it tall in the y direction. Now what what the ray collision uh, does is send a ray between this object and this object and if the ray enters if this object which is the landscape let's give it some geometry let's show the geometry lines uh, if the this object intersects that ray it records the position in here for example the landscape object made you should be made editable it's parametric now so i have to press c now right click on the object and go to programming tags and espresso and drag all three objects into the espresso uh, panel and then all then all two now search for um, ray ray collision node so we need to give the intersect uh, the object, the collider, the object that the ray would collide with first. So just drag and let go on the red and connect it to the object tab. And the drag from ray point one, let go on the red and connect it to the position, global position of null one, same global position of null two. Now, if we create a third object, let's create a, a fourth object, I mean. Let's create a sphere, lower its size to, I don't know, 50, and drag it again into the Espresso uh, Manager editor. And we have to output from here the hit position and connect it to the position of the sphere, the, sphere, the global position. So we go to coordinates, global position global position now uh, nothing happens because you have to select the uh, rake rake uh, collision and uncheck test only now you'll see that the uh, the position of the sp sphere is exactly where the collision uh, where the ray is colliding with the landscape so let me lower the size even more let's give it another color Go to basic, custom, and give it a red color or like a yellow. Red is better. Now if we move the first object, the top object, the first null, the uh, position of the uh, ball would change depending on the uh, position of the collision. Let's make the second null child of the first object. So when wherever the first object moves, the second moves with it. As you can see, the uh, ball, because the ray collides in different places uh, on the landscape object, the ball moves with it. And you can also make uh, create make a tracer and try to trace the uh, position of the ball by selecting the ball, going to tracer, and going to object, uncheck vertices so it just traces the uh, axis of the of the ball now you can give a vibrate tag to the null so it ran randomly changes position give a vibrate tag to the null and then go to ena go enable position and enable in the x and the not the y sorry enable in the z z uh, axis as well and lower the frequency to one now if you play the animation the and let's give it more frames you'll see that the 
uh, let's give the tracer another color go to basic custom make it red as well you'll see that the ob the ball is being traced let's press NC to show it see the the ball is being traced by the tracer but the position of the ball depends on the uh, position of the nulls and the ray that is shot between them 